So I recently got some of these momentary latching switches for one of my projects. And I think the way they work is quite interesting. I opened one up here and before I show it, I bet most people could guess how it works just by listening to the sound. Does it sound familiar? Sounds like a pen. Sounds the same, works the same as far as I can tell from the outside. So I decided to open one of them up and it is literally the same. It's just like a compact version of the mechanism inside of a ballpoint where when you push the thing down, there's something that rotates and locks in and it prevents it from going back up. So this thing gets loose. And then when you push it again, it becomes stiff. So these are all the pieces in order when they were taken out. There was a little spring on the bottom. It's a compression spring. There was this little metal dimple thingy. I think it's the switch part. And then that's the second part of the actuator thing. The exact same type of mechanism that's in a pen. And the first half of it is actually on the switch here, just like in a pen. It's the jagged type plastic thing where that top piece fits in. And then when you push it down, that piece rotates and locks in a certain position, either up or down. And depending on whether it's up or down, this contact piece will make or break a contact between these two pins. So I've put the two together into the button, just like that. And it's that piece that rotates and locks. So if I put it back into the housing, when it's in the down position, the little metal dimple there has the spring fitting in the dimple and that is basically closing the circuit between the two contacts. So simulating the spring force, just like in a pen, by pushing down with tweezers, you should see those, these lugs rotate and lock. See it rotate and then lock. Now, even when I push down, it has that grease on it has that ridge there like that but then if I do it again it should rotate and then lock back into place that is really cool so this latching switch is nothing more than a repurposed pen mechanism basically so here I have it in order the button that little first latching part or the second latching part and that may look very familiar to people who are familiar with the insides of a pen. It looks oddly similar to the bottom of the clicky thing of a pen. And then that thing that fits into the clicky thing of the pen is shorter. Then you have this metal disc with a dimple in it for the spring. So it fits like that. And then your contacts that basically go here and are open or closed depending on how the button is holding the little washer thing here, depending on the position. So for example, I have a switch that has not been clicked. Can't hear it shaking, but then I click it once, like when you click a pen, and you'll hear a faint rattling when I shake it. This one, maybe not so much. Let's try another one. So, okay, hasn't been clicked. Barely a rattle, but then I click it much louder. Unclick it a little bit, but then I do it again. So the way it is right now, and then it shakes. The reason it shakes is because this part is locked up here. So now that little free moving piece is free to shake. So now there is a gap. So even when I push down on it, it doesn't want to go down because it's stuck on the ledge here, the lugs or whatever it's called. And this would be your open circuit position because the little contact thing, if I can actually, the little contact or whatever disc is sitting in there. So when it's in the down position, that spring is providing tension down against the two contacts and I took the other one out so you could see the rotating easier, but it's closing the circuit. So I'll put the other one in. So to demonstrate, it's 
So the thing just flew out of my hands. So I have both contacts in. So when you have that disc and it's sitting here like that, and then you have your little spring inside of this dimple here like that, and it's pushing down. If the mechanism is up where it had that little bit of a ledge, then it's not going to be able to close the circuit. But then taking this disc off, so it's sticking up just a tiny, tiny bit like that. Just that raised part is enough to break the circuit. But then when I pretend I'm the spring and I push down, I don't want to drop it again. And I push and you can see it rotates, it falls into place. So now when you put the contact in, then you pretend you have the spring, almost drop it again. So when you pretend you have the spring, well, if these tweezers weren't in the way, you can see it's making contact. And you can't see it on the other side, but it's making contact with both. So then pretending on the spring, pushing down and pushing the button, you can see it's raised now. So lifting it off gently. So now it's raised off of the contact. So even when I push down, there is a bit of a gap, but then I push on the button again. Let me make sure it's focused. Now when I push down, it's making contact again. So click it, no contact. That's the multimeter, no contact. And I just dropped it again. But I think that proves my point mostly. So here it is fully disassembled. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to put it back together. So first you have the spring and then the little spring housing. So it's taking that and squishing it onto the little dimple there like that. So the spring is in and put that down. Next for the contact arms, just the friction fit. So it goes in between those two bars. Same thing with the other side. So just pushing it in between those two things and the contacts or the pins are in like that. And then finally, it's time for the clicky part. So just like with a ballpoint pen, the clicky ones, you have the little lid and then the rotating locking piece, whatever it's called that rotates. And it actually looks like it's Oh, that is cool. In a ballpoint pen, this inner piece is its own separate rotating piece. But here they've actually molded it into the housing. So it's like angled like that. So when it goes up one way, it stays. And then when it goes back up, it goes all the way down, riding the, riding this thing all the way down. Pretty cool actually. So all that's left is to take the lid, the clicky part, like the button, which is this, and then take the locking piece and then insert the locking piece into the clicky piece like that. So those are the two pieces together. Then you just drop those into there. Just like that. So it's in. And the final step, well, two more steps left, putting the actual contact disc or whatever it's called with the dimple side down into that locking piece. And then taking the piece with the spring and having the spring go into the dimple. So it's providing spring force. I'm not going to close it all the way because I want to open it again, but it's that simple. And these are rated for 1.5 amps, 250 volts. 
So if you like this video, please like and or subscribe because this was a very fun video to make and I want to make more of these. Thank you for watching.